Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy because I wait till it's time to do a video and then I put on chapstick. And I'm just a little loony at times. I don't intend to be. I just am periodically troll because I consider myself a troll when I put on face paint. A cute troll, but still a troll nonetheless. 100% trollness. Nothing on my face except skincare and facial primer because I'm going to try the Sephora Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. I wanted to talk about the packaging. I think... This is 20 bucks on the Sephora site. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to talk about the packaging because I'm sure some people will look at this and say, it looks like drugstore packaging. But for the price that you're paying, you know, do you want fabulous packaging or do you want a good product? So what I wanted to just show you is the differences between this packaging and the other packaging. This has 1.01 fluid ounces in here. So you see how sleek and small this is. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. <laughs> this is, I have to look on the box. Um, this is one fluid ounce. Cover Effects G60 Power Play. The shade is G60. This is 1.18 fluid ounce. Sorry for the glares. The Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. This is 1.23 fluid ounces. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. One fluid ounce. And this is what that packaging looks like. So just to give you an idea, because sometimes you feel like you're getting more if it's glass, it's, you know, heavy, and then you're like, what is this? And so quantity-wise, it's about the same, but the packaging is just very different. So I will insert a picture of, I swatched the Cover Effects G60. Oh, my hand looks dry. <laughs> I clean the foundation off with the Marcella water and... Look how dry it made my skin. Oh my gosh. I swatched the Cover Effects G60, which is the exact same shade as Estee Lauder, the Anastasia, and then the Becca Skin Love. And then underneath, I swatched the Sephora Foundation number 21, 23, 25, 27, and 29. None of them matched. So I'm going to insert a picture, one with flash and one without. Because number 21 and 23 look like they maybe sort of could work, I then mix those two together and I'll insert a picture, one with flash and one without. So what I'm going to do right now, as I said, I did prime my face already. I'm going to mix... I never even showed you opening it. You open it and there was a little aluminum covering over the top and then you just squeeze it out. And so this is number 21. I'm going to try to squeeze it equally between the two. And I just squeezed number 21. Now I'm going to squeeze number 23. This one here is number 21 this one's number 23 this was a tad too neutral and the 23 was a tad red i i am an olivey golden undertone and so i looked at them and i said and i apologize for my camera not be, you guys not being able to see the un oh there you go so the 21 is on this side and the 23 is on this side. So you can see the 21 is more neutral slash golden, but not quite. And the 23 has a reddish undertone. So I'm going to mix those two together. And, oh, I did not put on any concealer because I wanted to see what this foundation was going to do. And I'm not even going to set it with powder because I want to see how the finish is going to wear 
through the day right now it is about 1 30 in the afternoon and also not setting it i will see if my skin likes it if it breaks out or if i have any itching or any problems and i will do a, a check-in later this is very luminous and it says clean glowing skin foundation and so it looks like this is one that i will set but as i said i'm not going to because i want to see what it's going to do i want to see how long w would it take to dry down if i didn't set it the perimeter of my face is mostly normal in the winter it gets dry my t-zone is always oily and if you've watched any of my videos you see like right here it'll just get shiny and right here it'll, it'll get shiny and there's times when sweat will just like drip right down here <laughs> it is it's just gross and it's really just weird to me because it doesn't disrupt my foundation it'll just bead up on top which which means it is coming through the foundation, but it doesn't look like it's coming through the foundation. It doesn't break down the foundation, but sweat will just form. And if it's heavy enough, it'll just like roll. <laughs> and then when I blot it away, it looks fine. So that's really weird to me that it doesn't disrupt my foundation. And the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is a mattifying primer. And even when I use setting powders and setting sprays, I still just right here and here. Oh, it's horrible. So I'm gonna end this video. I, I think it is a nice match. I am looking a little red to me, but because I am tanned, it is kind of evening me out but if you can see my tan lines it's kind of like that really wouldn't match me without a tan but with a tan like it's looking okay with these lights down here in the mirror I'm looking a tad red which is what happens with um the Becca skin love this leans red on me and it and it does say it has a red undertone so we will see. So I will come back later or just in another video as I try the other products. I'll just do a recap. So as I try the products, I'll just do a quick little thing like I'm doing with, with this one. And then at the end of it all, <laughs> of all the products, I'll just do a recap. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think. So we'll see. So thank you and you will see me in a few seconds. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick um, update on a review of the Sephora Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. I have been mixing shade 21, this one, and shade 23, which is this one. Just a good mix. Um, I only wear this though for when I do videos. It does lean a little red for me, even mixing the two and it's hard to get an even match because there's not a pump so you have to squeeze it out and I am oily in my t-zone area and so to wear this out I would sweat more than I usually do or look more dewy or glowy than I want to look <laughs> and so but for video purposes I am really enjoying mixing the two after these are gone I would not repurchase these only because even though they're $20 a piece, I'm, I would have to spend $40 to get a shade that would match when I can spend $43 for the Estee Lauder or I think it's $38 or something like that for the Cover FX, which does actually match me. And so, and also those are matte foundations and these are glowing dewy foundations. And so if you do have dry skin, I think that you would really like this foundation um, and even if you had to mix shades if you're okay with mixing I think you would really like these the wear time is iffy on me and again because I'm oily I think after about three hours 
it breaks down this area here it breaks down this area here and around my nose and even on my nose so actually this entire area <laughs> everywhere inside my smile lines including the smile lines and so this entire area in here breaks down after about three hours and that's with setting powder that's with a setting spray even yesterday i used the ben nye final seal which does like lock everything in it took about five hours uh, with the ben nye final seal for it to start to break down and so i do like the foundation it does not break me out which is awesome because my skin is sensitive and temperamental I am glad to have received these, to have the opportunity to try them and to do reviews and let you guys know how it works for me. And so I do recommend it, particularly if you have dry skin. If you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend it. Um, and if they have your perfect match for 20 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. And again, it is 1.1 fluid ounces. Um, the only downside is you can't really well, I guess you can just dab a little, a little, a little, instead of just squirting out a bunch to help conserve products. And it's just hard to gauge what you're using because it's not a pump. But anyway, I just wanted to do this quick update. And thank you for watching. If you have this foundation, let me know how it's working for you. If you like it, if it didn't work for you, feel free to post your video responses below or to send me links to videos that you've done with this foundation and your thoughts and thank you for watching and you'll see me in the next video